Ohio, outside of Baton Rosie's in Schaumburg. The Pakistani rock star, Ahmad Khan, making his debut, getting on the face of the anarchist Daniel Alonso. We're involved in a triangle match, triple threat, sort of situation involving the Lizard Man, Nathan Dahl. And look at this, the two Rudos run after Lizard Man.
stunning stuffing bulldog smash. And Alonzo broke it out. The two Rudos can face to face now, and it's starting to get very physical between these two. And Alonzo has an awesome opportunity to put Alman Khan in his place as this conflict intensifies as this match goes on. You talk about an individual that's opened up eyes all across the scene. It's this man, Daniel Alonzo, with his very aggressive entering style and his striking. And look at this, he has grounded on my time within a matter of moments. Daniel Alonzo, a heavyweight title holder elsewhere. Very tense, bitter, hostile individual. A must-see athlete of the ring brings the pain and the trauma and the noise. And this could be a signal of bad things. Alonzo, Mike, Lord, Lizard Man across the ring. There's an explorer. My goodness, Lizard Man. Oh, no. He tried to show fighting spirit to fight on, but he fell out of the ring. What a terrible landing. We've got no padding out here whatsoever. We're literally in a part of the parking lot adjacent to the Fat Rosie's restaurant. Taco and tequila bar. And Alonzo picks up and delivers a huge spike suplex. Tom Akai as he's shaking and gyrating in pain and anguish right here. Lucha Libre Total in front of a wonderful subset of fans here. Free action for the public to witness under the tent. For a festival-like environment for a second match this afternoon. Alonzo just crushed Ahmad Khan on the back of the head and neck with a forearm and might paralyze any normal human being. And these men are experiencing incredible amounts of pain and anguish right now. And this is oh my! Ahmad Khan got dumped hard. This match continues. What an exciting burst of energy shown by Illusion Man. He had an awesome opportunity, took advantage of a great moment there, and just flew in and delivered the damage. Khan down on the outside. He might be a non factor for the rest of this matchup after that huge suplex by Alonzo and Lizard Man, who had a chance to recover after falling to the outside. But his window of opportunity might be fading as Alonzo chops the feet, measures Lizard Man, and drops him in the corner. Next ring close by, discus style. Ahmad Khan recovers, missile attack in the corner with that drop kick. Lizard Man dangling off the ropes. Alonzo's down. Blind body attack denied. Ahmad Khan might have hyperextended. Shake the cobwebs out. Can he score the win? Alonso's in tight. And he breaks up the count. This match continues. Great competition from all three. It's been back and forth this entire time. Just when you think one has the advantage, the other steps in and tries to break it up and tries to gain momentum on their own. Alonso tries to reverse the lizard man into the corner. Says Kevin Specs, our official, for this matchup. Lane slap across the face, very disrespectful gestures. And you cannot afford to let the lizard man just need abuse like this because when he's feeling some sort of way, he becomes unleashed. And when you consider the diet of one lizard, oh, there's a lot of protein, there's a lot of vegetables. And all of that, it makes you feel some sort of way. And you get angry and aggressive, and you start wanting to rip and tear at everything in sight because you're always hungry and always wanting to get a taste of a fruit that lies. My goodness! Alonzo! 
continues to rip and tear apart Ahmad Khan with suplexes repeatedly. Khan knocked out onto the pavement below. Big forearm. Alonso's been rocked. A second one by the Lizard Man. Big flip across the ring. Can the Lizard Man gain enough momentum to win this match? This match is not over. Single day miles, Pat Rosie, Lucha Libre on full display here this afternoon. Free event for all the witness. Con going straight for the eyes of the lizard man. Totally illegal. Kick to the end of the ring two times to the lizard man's left leg. The Lizard Man from suffering further harm to potentially give this match up. And in the process, save the Lizard Man from suffering the defeat. The irony of this is, this gives Alonzo an opportunity to do damage on the outside so he can weaken Khan and maybe beat him instead. The strategy in a triple threat, a triangle match like this, it's not going to you want to isolate one and stay away from the other. If you can take one and eliminate them from the formula, it makes it much easier to beat the other. And at this rate, after all of the abuse that these three men have delivered to one another, it's a matter of time before fatigue sets in, has not only been reached, but it has been exceeded beyond all recognition. Superplex attempted here by Alonzo, denied by the Lizard Man. Alaska 
Jefford lunged in and delivered a forearm to the back of Alonso to break it up. Kenny Knight has appeared nearby as well. Lucha Libre Total. Triangle match. Might spin and drop his opponents in any direction he wants. We've seen this before. Oh, puts the man right on his feet. Try to spin kick. Alonzo ducks. Sleeping attack. Loser man drops Khan. My goodness. What a devastating shot that was. Alonzo trying to sneak in to take advantage of the loser man when he least expected. Loser man with his spinning kicks has rocked two at once. Will loser man hit his double stop and put Alonzo away right here? Yeah, he knocked all the air out of the bear time. Kenny Knight congratulating the loser man after a hard fought battle. And there is indeed some tension that has developed in recent months between Alonzo and Kenny Knight, but now it's not from time. 